This project is sponsored by PCBWay. They have all the services you need to create your project at the best price, whether it's a school project or complex professional project. On PCBWay you can share your experiences or get inspiration for your next project. They also provide completed surface mount SMT PCB assembly service at the best price and ISO 9001 quality control. Uh, visit www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, PEMF or Pulsed Electromagnetic Field Therapy is a type of therapy that uses electromagnetic fields to improve health and well-being. The basic idea behind PEMF is that it can influence the body at the cellular level promoting healing and regeneration. The electromagnetic fields generated by PEMF devices can penetrate the body and interact with the cells and organs. PEMF therapy is used in various medical and wellness applications. It is commonly employed for pain management, wound healing and bone related disorders. In several of my previous videos I described simple uh, ways to cheaply make such a device yourself. This time I will describe a way to make a PEMF device that will receive the frequency signal from an external device such as a personal computer with appropriate software, a mobile phone or a commercial PEMF device that has a voltage output, whereby this device would amplify that signal. The magnetic field that can be radiated by this device reaches a value of up to 150 Gauss and with the parallel addition of MOSFETs and a powerful power, power supply, stronger fields can be easily achieved. Of course, the radiation coil plays an important role here, which you can see more about in the videos mentioned above. However, I should also mention that according to NASA research, fields of even 1 to 4 Gauss are sufficient for effective therapy. The device also has a matter of the straight of emitted magnetic field made with, a, with an Arduino microcontroller but this time we will leave this part out for a simpler design. Only a few components are used when making the device. Three power MOSFETs. I use IRF3205 but any with similar characteristic can be also used. 300 ohm resistors, uh, 1N4007 diode, 10 kilo ohm potentiometer, signal shifter, 1 NPN transistor and 2 resistors, that is signal shifter, uh, power supply 12 volts, minimum 60 watts, and a coil uh, which the magnetic field is generated and radiated. Optionally, I installed a power meter and I will, I will describe this, its construction in one of my next videos. It consists of Arduino microcontroller and small OLED display. Uh, the power meter is very useful addition to the device, but it is little more complex to make, so you can also use a standard milli or microamp meter with a moving needle, in which case the sensitivity of the, of the instrument is adjusted using the trimmer potentiometer. A circuit diagram for this case is also given in the attachment. Now let's see how the device works in real conditions. First, as a PMF signal source I will use uh, my PC with the uh, CHI AMP software created by Ken Azel, which you can download for free, for free on the Spectrotech site. Unfortunately, uh, the software is given is is given in exe format and the antivirus program detects it as a virus but after I downloaded it I scanned it with multiple antivirus programs and it turned out to be clean. CHI, CHI AMP is, uh, is inspired by infrasonics instruments. First briefly describe this application. CHI AMP contains predefined programs for several diseases, but we can also create our own custom program. Uh, here we can change the intensity of the signal. 
then the shape of the signal sine react angle triangle soft to positive soft to negative and white noise and here the duration the duration of the therapy is indicated now we can choose the, the disease and press start we can follow the shape of the generated signal uh, on these three screens or for other disease From the line output of the sound card, we bring the signal to the input of the device. Uh, next, we need to start the Windows program. And power on the PMF device. Next, uh, we move the potentiometer to, the, to a certain degree. And as we see, the meter responds. Now, if we get closer a magnet uh, near the coil, it oscillates with the frequency set in the application. Uh, the flux meter shows about 50 to 60 gauss, maximum 60 gauss. Now I will briefly explain the relationship between coil type radiation and power. Uh, I will now test the device with a much lower resistance coil wound with a thicker wire. As seen on the Gauss meter, values greater than 120 Gauss are easily achieved and for more than 150 Gauss I need a powerful power supply. I'm currently using 12 volts 6 amperes. and also this bigger low resistance coil. A coil with a larger diameter radiates a field over a larger area but with a lower intensity. The smaller coil uh, radiates a directional stronger magnetic field but over a small area. 
A coil with lower resistance made with thicker wire generally radiates a stronger magnetic field than one with higher resistance made with thinner wire. It is very important to emphasize that the minimum ohmic resistance of the coils should not be lower than 0.5 ohms. In the case where a coil with low resistance is used, uh, the power supply should be capable of delivering a current of 10 amperes and more. Instead of a personal computer, we can use commercial PMF device with an output signal port or simply an Android smartphone with a signal generator application. And finally a short conclusion, this universal device is actually only a PMF signal amplifier and not a complete PMF device, but therefore it can be connected to various sources of such a signal and even previously recorded audio material on some kind of information carrier, for example a USB stick. The device is installed in a suitable box made of PVC board with a thickness of 3 and 5 mm and coated with a colored salt adhesive label.